ain't shooting no video till I'm done smoking. Shazam! Blicky, blicky, blicky. Like, share, and subscribe, please. Hello, this your boy Chef EBT, and I'd like to welcome y'all to the fourth episode of Burt Stow TV, where we're gonna use this street kitchen scratch kit to make jerk chicken burritos. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna use the good chicken, people, the best chicken you can use. Please do so. Um, I influence you to use the instructions on the back for marination. Me personally, I do it for 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? I do that to get the best flavors out of it. Now, when we make these, we're going to barbecue them. To me, that's the best way to get the best flavor on the cube. Uh, in another segment or well, another episode, I should have instructions on how you barbecue with the high side, low side, if you don't know already. Uh, but you see why my setup, you know, and I want to cook the chicken on the low side. You know, I don't want to burn it. I want it to stay juicy, and I'm, I'm going to baste it. I'm going to baste it along the way, you know what I'm saying? Until the juices are gone, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, it's just being outdoors. Uh, as you see, I did this before the snow hit, so it was a nice little uh, outdoor relaxation type of job, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're basing them. But I want y'all to notice how I'm watching them. I'm not going in the house. I'm not going on no bathroom breaks or nothing. I'm, like, sitting here watching them. You see what I'm saying? So when they done, you put them on that high side. That's how you get you know, that, that charry flavor, you know what I'm saying? So, you don't play with them back and forth. If they start to burn, move them back to the low side. Uh, you want the heat on the search pot, put them to the high side. You know how that go, but you just got to uh, babysit them. You know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, I want to ask everybody how y'all doing today, man. I hope y'all doing well. Um, I hope this meal that I'm providing to you uh, put a smile on your face, give you something to do instead of getting in trouble. Food is the pathway to the soul. Did I skip the heart? Yes, I skipped the heart. But you see how it's going, people. You just based them. You take your time. Uh, I'm going to put the lid on so I get that good smoke flavor in there. Uh, you can even go further by putting those little wood chips in there if you want to. You know what I'm saying? So as you see, they're about done. Flipping them over, checking them out. I just want to get as much smoke flavor in them as I can. See, it's all about the flavor now. As you guys should know that the chicken is pretty much done. But I want to finish basting them, getting the juices in there, getting everything together, people. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't introduced myself, this your boy, Chef EBT, and you are tuning in to the fourth episode of Burnt Stove TV. And this episode is all about jerk chicken burritos. Okay, we done. You see them on the plate, nice and juicy. That's the key. Juicy. Because chicken breasts get dry. We don't want them dry. Oh, yeah, people. We're going to add bacon to it. Um, you can follow this. Uh, yeah, you need shells. You can follow this as you see it. You know what I mean? So I kind of eyeballed it through. You know, you need some salsa, fiesta blend cheese, uh, black beans, uh, fiesta type Mexican rice, uh, my secret ingredient to everything, the imperials, some salsa, and the roasted chicken, um, Uncle Ben's Minute five minute rice or whatever it is and then we have our garnishes we got the green onion out there got cilantro uh, avocado um and, and you, you're gonna do this as you please you know i mean you're gonna put as much as you want you know what i'm saying ain't no real real uh guideline to uh how to do it but that's how i cook my bacon guys i'm having another segment on it i like you to like share subscribe please do that for me uh, so we're going to cut our vegetables, uh, vegetables, garnishments, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this time I just chose to pick each um, little cilantro leaf off the bush instead of cutting them up. I'm just, I'm just trying to find new ways um, to to make tasteful use of uh, of uh, cilantro because I don't like the, the stalks of them. Then we're going to cut this onion down into little pieces small as you can get them. I don't know too many people who like big chunks of onion in their food. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, just going to cut them down into little pieces so they're 
they won't take from it. But that onion flavor gonna bang. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Green onions, I'm just a green onion lover. I garnish everything with green onions. I just love the flavor. You know what I'm saying? And that's my cilantro. I soaked it. Because when you get them from the grocery store, it's kind of crazy. They look a little bit, uh, they look bad when you get them. It's almost like you're bringing everything back to life with water. Um, this is the nine nutritional lettuce, of course. The lettuce that everybody was raised on. I'm going to find out it does nothing for us. But this is the lettuce I'm using. It tastes better. Um, avocados. If y'all don't know how to uh, cut the avocado, pay attention. Well, I might just make another segment. <clears throat> one how to do avocados, make a short, quick little short little uh, one minute segment on it, you know. So the meat is done. Uh, the bacon's pretty much done. You're just getting everything ready to uh, go in a burrito. And usually uh, people have all this stuff ready, but I'm ghetto. So I just go along with the flow, you know. Go with the flow. It look nice. Um, then you cut the avocado up in nice little rings there. Be safe. Don't cut yourself. Make sure you keep your hands washed. Wash your hands, you know. Or wear gloves. Make sure the gloves clean. So then we're gonna take this chicken, we're gonna cut it up. And we're gonna cut this chicken up into, uh, you know, little squares. We ain't gonna shred it or nothing. You can't shred it, but, well, maybe you can't shred it at this point. I don't know, but we're not shredding it. We're gonna, what I, we're gonna do a little thing called cubing the chicken. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna cut it in uh, nice little cubes. Nice little cube flow. You know what I mean? Nice little cubes. Not no raggedy cubes. Not no regular cubes. Nice little cubes. But since you see that chicken is still juicy, still delicious, you see all that flavor on top, be careful. Be careful. Don't cut your fingers off. But as you see, we cut that in those nice little cubes, and our chicken is ready to go. That chicken is ready to go. I wish I could go through the screen and eat a piece right now as I'm editing this, you know? Bacon, look at that bacon. Boy, that bacon looks delicious. Really don't need a knife to break that up, but might as well keep the keep the flow going. Go on with the flow. So you're gonna cut that bacon up. You're gonna warm the shells on the eye. Just warm them so that they're more flexible. So you don't have to uh, worry about breaking holes in them. Cause these gonna be pretty, we're gonna load them up, people. Add sour cream to the shell as much as you like. I do it like that. Um, spread it around. Then I'm gonna add a few pinches of cheese. You use as much cheese as you want to, but I just a little bit, not too much. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do that on both burritos. I'm actually making two burritos. Um, then we're gonna put the chicken onto the cheese with the intentions of the cheese melting. You know, I kept the chicken warm, people. Um, you didn't see that, but I did. Look at that cold glass of water. Looks great. Then we're going to put the bacon on top of the chicken. Yum, yum, for the bacon lovers. I don't know about turkey bacon, people. Turkey bacon tastes like paper, so I wouldn't use that with anything. But um, I know how to cook it, though. I can make it safe on turkey bacon for all the non-porkers. Then we have our raw onion, white onion, uh, lettuce, and cilantro. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like, share and subscribe i know a lot of people like cilantro and lettuce ill nah then you're gonna add your black beans your rice you know your, your your corn uh your cilantro your lettuce your salsa however you want to build it it doesn't matter which way you, you do it but just like i tell chipotle when they finish with my burrito you gotta mix it around i want i want one section to be by i want everything to be mixed together you know, as a whole. Then you wrap them. I might have another segment on wrapping them. If you guys don't know how to do it. If you've never worked at Taco Bell before. But then you put them in um, like a little flat plate um, pan or a flat pan. Just a little bit of, i say about a, 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 a tablespoon of uh, margarine. And then you're going to uh, go on a medium heat for about three to five minutes per side. And that's how they should come out, guys. Everything inside is heated and melted. Uh, I think it was a little bit lower than medium. It's just just about getting the medium. I don't know what your stove is like, but you don't want the flame too high. But you want to be able to leave it there and let it uh, pretty much cook that way. And then you add your uh, Doritos and 
put a little cilantro on top, a little green onions on top, a little cheese. You know, however you want to do it. You know, I got my little avocado on the side. You can put the avocado in the burrito if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like to put salsa in my rice as well with the cheese. And, you know, um, it's a nice little din din right here. Or it could be a lunch. Or it could be a brunch. It could be at any time. It could be breakfast. You can actually make a breakfast burrito out of this like this one. But look, that's another segment. Um, I'm, I'm going to get at y'all with more segments. I'm going to need y'all to like, share, and subscribe so y'all know when I'm coming out with a new something, something to eat. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm, I'm going to try to post at least one or two episodes a week. I cook a lot, you know, but I do a lot of other things too. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, like I say, like, share, and subscribe. And if you, uh, next time you get your EBT on and you go going to Walmart or maybe Jewel, Go yeah, get it. Yeah. Come home, like do it yourself. And I use you for your money. Please don't feel like you a dummy. Cause you know it ain't true. No, no.